Here we have a Dell Inspiron 20 3000 series. All in one, we're going to open up and explore the insides. I know my screen is not there and it looks weird. It's because my touchscreen panel was cracked. So you don't need to advise me of that. So we're going to flip to the back. So now we flip to the back. We're going to put your laptop or whatever you're doing on something soft so you don't scratch it. There's a panel here. This stores the hard drive and there's a little tab there for you to remove the hard drive cover. Your hard drive's here. There's actually four screws holding your hard drive down but I actually don't have it. So I've just pointed out. This hard drive is a 2.5 inch hard drive. There's a cable here. We're going to remove your cable first. So this is your normal two and a half inch laptop hard drive. So next we're going to need to remove four screws holding the back cover down. <coughs> I've already removed my four screws. You need to get your prying tool to pry open the back cover. Just go around the sides, there's any plastic clips on it. <laughs> Once you have removed the four screws, be gentle when you open it as your hard drive strings comes from the inside and your power cable is still stuck there. <laughs> so now we opened up, here you go, this is the hard drive cable from the outside. Remember to slot it through the hole, there's a hole already there for you. Here is the power cable, it's where your power board is, <laughs> your power volume control and whatever it is. So this is your speaker, these two bars, your motherboard's under there, and your RAM's under there, that's your LCD cable. This is your wireless card, there's one screw holding your wireless card down. Remember to take off your wireless card antenna before you remove your wireless card. So after you remove your screw, your wireless card pops up and you just drag it out. Next we're going to remove the motherboard. There's a few strings we have to remove, so I'm just pointing out more of them. This one here is your hard drive connector, the one that connects to your motherboard. The black things are actually sticky tape holding it down. <laughs> so this cable here is your backlight cable, controls the backlight of your LCD screen. This cable here is your LCD case screen cable. Next one's your speaker. There's a ribbon cable here. This black thing is actually sticky tape. And there's three screws holding the cover down from the other side. So that's your second screw, third screw. So you're going to need to remove the three screws and the sticky tape to remove it. If you want to reuse your sticky tape, make sure you leave it somewhere clean so you don't get hair or dust over it. So there's cables on the other side as well. Remember to remove it. This is where your power cable and your touchscreen input connects to the back of the motherboard. That black thing is your BIOS battery. There's sticky tape holding 
it down so you have to remove the stick tape before you can pull it up pull the plug out of the hole so there's six screws holding the motherboard down on this metal cover there's one RAM slot on this so when we remove the screws we'll be able to access the RAM the CPU cannot be changed and is soldered on the only thing on the other side of this is your RAM there's only one slot so that's maximum 8 gigs of DDR3 L RAM there's the bias barrier again there's your CPU and there's your RAM slot pinch the two sides and the RAM pops up so just to show you here just focusing the camera so on the motherboard it tells you it's DDR3L only I hope you can read it there it goes supports DDR3L only so yeah So now that I screwed everything in, we're now going to remove the speakers. Okay, there's three screws holding the speakers on the left hand side. And the right hand side, there's two screws holding the speaker now. Just remember your ribbon cable. There's double sided adhesive on it. Just lift up your speakers and it comes off. Remember they tape down the cable to hold it down. Cable management. So just be careful to rip your speakers off. We need to peel off the stick tape first. So next we're going to remove this. This is your touch screen input. Input. <laughs> it connects your touchscreen to your the touchscreen board to the motherboard. So this silver thing is just sticky tape as well. So if you happen to crack your screen like mine, you want to remove this or you want to disconnect it so it doesn't read inputs it doesn't read random inputs I'm just removing the cables that are attached to the steel tape some of the cables are attached to it and we're going to put someplace clean so you can reuse it so here's our touch controller that's about it thanks for watching this system is relatively pretty pointless the only reason why you should need to open up is to change the RAM but with the processor that it comes with changing the RAM wouldn't make a big difference and wouldn't improve performance at all even putting an SSD inside it would not be a good idea as the processor is too slow to handle it thanks for watching